Navigating the intricate intersection of mental health considerations and the imperative for accountability and justice is a multifaceted challenge. Today, the Office of Bronx District Attorney Darcel Clark consenting to a mental health evaluation. After 40, 40, 40 assaults, he has been evaluated. So this is all pushing things off and, and, and what have you, another evaluation, wasting taxpayers' money and what have you. It's a bunch of bull. I'm just going to say it like it is. And it needs to stop. This is video of Wright sucker punching an Asian woman in Chinatown, knocking her out cold. Surrounded by his family, the union and MTA leadership, Anthony Nelson says his case will hopefully result in more respect for MTA workers. I don't care if you're on the ground. I don't care if you're on an elevated platform. I don't care if you're on a bus. There's a level of protection and respect that needs to be seen when you see an MTA worker. We're in the service industry. They're getting assaulted. They're getting harassed. It's just not acceptable. The DA's office telling Fox 5 the defense asked to have the case sent to mental health court for evaluation of right to see if that court would be more appropriate to handle the case or if it should remain in regular court. Lin it involves recognizing the significance of addressing mental health issues and ensuring individuals receive suitable care while simultaneously acknowledging the legal system's duty to hold wrongdoers answerable for their deeds and shield victims from harm. It encompasses critiquing the decision to transfer the case to a mental health court, which prioritizes rehabilitation over retribution without adequately redressing the harm endured by victims and its broader ramifications on public safety. It underscores the importance of upholding principles of justice, public safety, and the rule of law. Yet given the perpetrator's extensive criminal background and the severity of the offense, there are apprehensions about overly favoring the portrayal of cases within the purview of mental health courts. Such decisions may risk eroding the integrity of the legal framework and potentially jeopardizing public safety, as they traditionally emphasize individual accountability and advocate for appropriate consequences for criminal conduct.